Welcome to another VCL video from TMS Software. Today I'm going to show you how to build modern user experiences with task dialogues. Before going into detail how to build task dialogues, let's first have a look what they are. We all know dialogues like the dialogue on this slide, the message dialogue, which has been around since DFI1. You can define a text, you can define an icon using a constant like empty confirmation, empty error. Of course, there is no dependency between the buttons and the icon that you show, so you could build ridiculous dialogues if you wanted to. And of course, the simplest of simplest dialogues, the show message, just presenting a statement and an OK button so the user can't confirm what you display on screen. All these dialogues are included in the VCL dialogues unit and have been, as I already mentioned, around forever. Another dialogue that has been around forever is the input query dialogue. It's also part of Windows itself and the VCL provides this wonderful wrapper. So you can say input query, you can define a caption, you can define a prompt, and this is the text field so you can enter your values. These values are referenced using a reference variable, so this string variable will actually be overwritten if you click OK. If you click Cancel, the value of L value will not be changed. That is, by the way, the only way to find out if the user cancelled or confirmed the dialogue. You have to compare the value before and after, and then you know, oh, okay, there has been a change or it has been OK. There exist other videos about input query dialogues, advanced query dialogues, where I go deeper into the subject matter, what the problems are with just asking for something like here without a type being attached to it, like a string or an integer. So look at those videos if you just need something simple as that and don't want to dive deeper into the task dialogues. This is also something I need to mention because everything I'm going to talk about today is only available in Windows versions Vista and upwards. Of course, this has been a long time ago that Vista was released, Windows 8 was in between, and then Windows 10 is more or less standard nowadays, especially that Windows 10 is everything now with the build number attached to it. So there have been a number of Windows 10 releases already over the years. So I think you're pretty safe using the task dialogues in your applications from now on instead of using the old show message, message dialog and input query. And that is the first aspect of task dialogues with TMS. You get custom made replacements for your show message, message dialog and input query functions. So you can make use of the new task dialog functionality. Of course, there's also an in-between between the modern task dialog, which gives you a T advanced query dialog this dialog is available on all Windows releases, not only Vista and upwards, and is a replacement for input query. However, if you have the task dialogues, you can make use of the new functions that I'm going into detail about now. So these are the new modern task dialogues that you come into touch with every day if you work with a modern Windows system. First of all, this would be a replacement for a show message or a message dialog. Of course, you have two lines with different layout you can have a caption then you have a header and the actual content of the dialogue but there's just the ok button as you use from show message this one here is a little bit more complex on the right you have a caption you have further content you have the icon it's the warning icon in this case and then you don't have buttons like ok cancel yes no no you have so-called command buttons meaning the buttons are stated as a command sentence and this is how the component displays them and this is what Windows has now. Buttons are not only displayed like this on the left, the OK button, no you can display buttons like this on the right with a green arrow which is called a command button. Another variant of a task dialog is this here. You see that the content can stretch above many lines and you can even say hey here I have additional information so if you click to hide this text here would disappear because this is text that you added as text marked for more detail. You have a footer where you can even use HTML to link your web page. 
and a separate icon apart from the icon of the main dialog. So the customization is almost endless. On the right you see another variation where you embed radio buttons in your dialog so the user selects one of the alternatives and then clicks OK or cancel if you provide cancel and you also have which is called a verification text for example that is used for dialogues where you want to offer the option not to show this information ever again you can say do not ask for this setting next time but this is called the verification text